Hello children, good morning. I am Sujata Bhattacharya. I will teach you biology. And today I will continue the same chapter. Hmm. As for the functions, till corolla I told you. Now I will come to endosium and gynosium. So as I told you that endosium is the male part of the flower. So according to male part, they have three parts, endosium, in an endosium in a or in a stamen. There are three parts, <coughs> Lob lobular structure, that is anther, lower, lower tubular structure is filament and in between there is neck. So, in the lobular structure, these are the dotted structure, you can see here, they have some male gametes which are called as pollen grain. During fertilization, these pollen grains will go to the another flower and pollinate the another flower which can make us which can give us fruit and which can make fruit. Now next is gynosium. Gynosium, you can see here that three parts are there: are ovary, style, and stigma. Ovary contains ovules. Ovules is the or ovule is the female part or female gamete of the flower which when ripens it forms the seed of the fruit. So main function of the endosium to produce male gamete. Female uh, gynosium has a main function to produce the female gamete that is ovule. When they come close together or they contact get contact, gets contacted contact with each other then they are fertilized and they form the fruit and ovule becomes the seed. These, these two are the functions of the endosium and gynosium. Now children, you will complete in your text question answer copy about the function of pedicel, calyx, corolla, endosium and gynosium. In the question answer copy, you can write about the parts of the flower and which part will help to the plant for which function. You can write about the functions also. Now, today I will come the types of flowers. Now, children you can understand types means varieties. So, there are so many types of varieties you can see in the garden or elsewhere. But according to structure, those who have all the four walls, they are called as Complete flower or it is also known as bisexual flower. See, if it is complete, it means all the four walls are present. If all the four walls are present, that means they, they should have male and female world also. So they become complete. Now, or they are also known as bisexual flower. Another one type is Unisexual. Unisexual means those who have any one type of sex. That is either male or female. So that's why they have another name. Incomplete flower. Now incomplete flowers are of two types. One is if they have male part then it is staminate or if they have only stamens not the ovary style stigma they are termed as staminate flower and if they have only the female part in it no endosium then they are known as pistillate flower. For example you can understand papaya plants are incomplete that means one plant have only one type of flower. Either it is male plant, so they have male flowers. If they have, it is female plant, then they have female flowers. And in case of, you can take the example of pumpkin. Pumpkin have both type of flowers in one plant. One is male, another one is female. So these two are the, instead of two, these are the four types of flowers. Now you can understand and you can search about the other examples of these. Thank you children.